What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the Stock Hustle channel with your boy, William. Today is Wednesday, November the 3rd. As always, guys, nothing that is discussed on the channel is financial advice. Uh, it is simply financial education, which I hope people can then use to understand they don't have to slave in a 9 to 5 every single day. Instead, they can choose to hustle 24-7 in the market and still accomplish all their financial goals, dreams, or aspirations, right? You're going to get out what you put in, as they always say. But to conserve time, let's get straight into it. I got a heater for you guys today, a true banger. As you see from the left corner of the screen, this is FUBO, otherwise known as FUBU TV Incorporated, right? Some of you guys may know this play from last year, as you do see this ridiculous run up that it had when it first launched into the market, essentially going from the 13s uh, all the way up to the high 60s, or 61, excuse me, to be political or exact, right? Uh, before it did have this massive, massive drop down with that correction we had through February all the way lasting through May. As you see, it bottomed out back again somewhere in the 14s. What is that specifically? We'll call it 1475, right? As you see, I do have a yellow trend line designated, uh, designated in the bottom because <clears throat> it's important to identify trends, right? Why? The trend is always going to be your friend. Uh, as you see, we did set a low and then we did set a higher low, right? This has now become a trend, an upward trend, more importantly, right? But as of more recently, you see that we've been trading in this channel from 24 to 29, recently breaking through over the last three days. And now we are in this topward or upward channel of 31.55, where we currently sit today. As of today, we did have a green day for 2.12% increase or otherwise increasing 70 cents in the share price, right? So that kind of gives you a quick idea of FUBU TV on the chart. Looking at the indicators, we are currently in a buying period. As you see from the MACD, you see this volume is kind of relatively low. It's not been massive, massive, massive as we did have in the past, right? With some of these other major runups, as you see here at the low, we had a massive spike in volume that you can see here. And then you see this massive run up, right? So keep that in mind. The volume is a little low, but at the end of the video, you're going to see why this one is a heater and a banger that I call Looking at the RSI, you see that we are in overbought or approaching overbought, right? So a quick note to remember, if we are in overbought, we still can push to the top side, but we have a higher probability of pulling down or pulling back a little bit, letting that RSI cool off for our next launch, right? Or takeoff. Now, that's not always true, but please consider that today, Wednesday, the Fed will be speaking in regards to tapering. That is going to affect any and just about every play in the market. Please, please, please keep that in mind when establishing a position. Uh, and you see <clears throat> the ATR or average true range is throwing $1.70 or otherwise, uh, what is that, $3.40. For those of you that like to know that, it is very important, especially when you're playing options because you want to know the potential of the swing, right? This is telling you you have a $3.40 swing to the top side or to the downside. It doesn't give you direction in the ATR. It just tells you the size of the swing. But let's dig a little further. So lucky for us, FUBU TV does have a website. Uh, if you go in here, essentially it's going to be like any other streaming service, right? They're going to offer you the total amount of channels that they offer, right? In your area, right? From all your favorites, MTV to news to TLC, whatever, right? Whatever you're into, pretty much they're going to offer, right? Just like any other TV streaming service, right? And at this point, you may be saying, well, what makes them different, right? Well, who cares? There's plenty of TV streaming services, right? You can always sign with Dish or DirecTV. Well, you'd be wrong in that, right? So if you go down to the very bottom of this, you kind of have to dig for it. There's an investor section, which leads you to this page here. Now, in this page, you will find some golden nuggets of information, uh, but not quite enough to really explain to you what FUBU TV has the potential to do. Luckily, I did find an article that I'm going to quote here in a minute that's going to set that right on the line for you. But it, on here, you do see this, which does catch your attention. Named to Forbes' next billion dollar startup list in 2019, FUBU TV is the live TV streaming platform with more top Nielsen ranked sports, news, and entertainment channels for cord cutters than any other platform. That's a pretty big win, right, for 2019. Unfortunately, we're in 2021, so it's not really relevant anymore, but again, it's cool. Okay, I see what you guys did there. Uh, 682,000 <clears throat> paid subscribers in quarter two of 2021. That's pretty good to see. 245 million total hours streamed in quarter two. Again, people like to watch a lot of TV. Uh, 134 monthly hours streamed per user. That's that's a lot uh, when you think about it, how many hours that is. And then 131 million in revenue quarter two, 2021. They do have earnings coming up on November the 11th. 
or November the 9th, excuse me, after market close. So that's also coming up. Please keep that in the back of your mind. So that's next Tuesday or Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Um, so that's important to take note of as well. Now, in these articles, sometimes people look at these and they're like, eh, it's, what, who cares? It's just an article. Excuse me. <clears throat> this specific article, though, does have some nuggets that I do want to take away because this is very important for the future of this, I guess, ticker, if you will, because it, it kind of gives you precedent. So FUBU Sportsbook, a next generation mobile sportsbook from FUBU Gaming, a subsidiary of fir sports first TV streaming platform FUBU TV, right? And then the ticker. Today announced a partnership with NASCAR to become an authorized gaming operator. As, par as partners, FUBU Sportsbook and NASCAR will work together to provide racing fans with a unique, engaging, wagering experience. Wow. That's a mouthful. But what that tells you is, and I'm sure you guys have heard of DraftKings. I'm sure you guys have heard of FanDuel. I'm sure you guys have heard of Caesar Sportsbook, MGM Grand. You pretty much name a casino and they have a sportsbook app, right? Um, or if not, you have like Penn National, right, <clears throat> which does sports betting. You have um, Golden Nugget Gaming. That was recently purchased by DraftKings, right? There's a lot of them out there that are getting into the sports, I guess, gaming industry. Uh, via apps as more states approve uh, sports betting. Specifically, FUBU is the only one that I know of that does it on live TV, right? And as you see from the partnership with NASCAR, what it's going to do for its consumers of NASCAR, right? It's going to offer a unique sports betting experience, right? To all people that are interested in watching NASCAR races. You could be sitting one day watching a NASCAR race. All of a sudden, you get a little pop-up. Hey, you want to bet on blah, blah, blah driver? Sure. How about you want to throw $3 on it? Sure. Why not? That to me is pretty cool, right? In itself, just the principle and idea that that's even possible is interesting. However, what's even more interesting that I did not know is that they already have professional sports partnerships with the New York Jets and the Cleveland Cavaliers. So that's their foot in the, I guess, foot in the door for the NFL and the NBA, which is very, very interesting if you stop and think about it, right? Um, in itself, just considering the fact that you could literally be watching an NFL game and then all of a sudden you get a pop up. Hey, you want to place a bet on the game? Sure, why not? Right, I have a lot of friends that love sports betting that this is going to be right up their alley. So that to me is also very interesting. But what's important to take away is that this is going and expected to launch in the fourth quarter of 2021, which is now. Uh, FUBU Sportsbook aims to be the next generational mobile sportsbook purpose built to meet sports fan growing demand for interactivity through an industry first integration of sports wagering and live TV. If you didn't know that, now you do. That's very, very interesting to me. So this company is not only going to take a piece of the streaming service, it's going to take a piece of the gaming service. It's going to put it together to make one big, huge TAM total addressable market, right? which all that should tell you is money stacked on money stacked on money, right? They're wanting to get their hands on as much money as possible. They only have one team in the NFL, one team in the NBA, and NASCAR. Well, they still have the MLB, you have the MLS, you have all the remaining NFL teams and all the remaining NBA teams, plus MLB, right? How many teams are in MLB? That That's just a very, very large market they can pursue uh, slowly, or they can go fast, right? It's... I guess, I guess it depends on the growth, but in either case, it's super, super interesting to me. <clears throat> Something I did not know, specifically, they already have access agreements in Arizona via Action Indian Community. That is literally down the street from here, down the road. Iowa via the Casino Queen. Uh, FUBU Gaming has also obtained market access agreements for, for FUBU Sportsbook in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and via Caesars Entertainment Incorporated. So, again, this is very early on that they're taking this market on, right, or this industry on, because again, you don't see a significant amount of agreements, right? It's like a piece by piece kind of thing. But what it should tell you is this is a long term hold at this point, uh, and that the potential is great. Currently sitting in the 30s, you only have a few things that they can essentially place bets on. But just imagine when they can place bets on all leagues and all sports. It'll, this market will be ridiculous that they're targeting, right? It's, it's infinite amounts of money, right? Because a lot of people like to bet on sports. I know in Europe, in some countries, you can already do this, where you can literally be watching a match or a soccer match, and you can place a live bet in a game. I've heard that's pretty interesting, and it makes games even more interesting, right? Because you have more, uh, more skin in the game, as they say. But 
again, I, I think you guys get the point. Uh, going in to give you guys some price targets. So on NASDAQ, they do have a strong buy rating. There, four, there are four analysts covering this. Uh, you have Barrington, Oppenheimer, Roth Capital, and Wibbush. As you see, their targets are 60 at the high, 44.63 in the average, and then the low being in the 30s. Well, we're already in the 30s, so the low is out of question for me. At this point, we're looking either at 44 or 60, which in the 60s, you're essentially talking about a double up. In the 40s, you're essentially looking at a 40% gain, which to me, in either case, is very interesting, right? That, that to me is gain. I'm interested, right? Again, please don't forget, we are in an upward trend. Going in to show you guys some institutional ownership, as I always like to do. <coughs> First and foremost, you see that in quarter four, there were some buys, no sells. Quarter one, we had a bit of the correction. So obviously, we were going to expect to see more sells than buys. But then look in quarter two, when we hit that bottom, 794 million buys, only 118 million sells. Still on the more buy side than sell side. Now, looking into who's holding what, you always will see Vanguard. You see State Street, Northern Trust, right? You see some of the bigger players, right? Marshall Waste. But pay attention to the increase, right? 2,000% increase, 700% increase, 1,600% increase, right? 1,000% increase. They're increasing their positions by significant amounts, which should tell you this is really, really bullish, right? And as always, I'd like to show you guys who I look for specifically and plays I like to participate in. Renaissance Technologies, only the best AI-driven hedge fund out there, correct? So that's super bullish for me as well. Going into the flow, as I always like to show you guys from Unusual Wells, as you see, nothing on the filters, just straight flow. Going in to see the charts, you see that the November 5th is extremely bullish. And then looking at the strikes, you see 35 and 40 stand out specifically. Going in here, we can go and look at the ask side only. Who's slapping the ask? Going back into the charts, once again, we are very bullish for November the 5th. We are very bullish for December 17th, the monthly for December. At the $35 strike, and the $40 strike, the $40 strike having just a little bit more money than the 35. So it's leaning more towards the 40. Now, going back out again, you can filter by any pretty much any which way. Uh, and it's going to give you the same information. I, I did this pretty much for just about every segment. And it came out with the same result, right? It's very bullish at the 35 and the 40. Once again, now you see this out of the money only again. Now, if you ever need confirmation of anything Unusual Wells is telling you, you can always easily just pull up an option chain, which I've already taken the liberty to do because I always like to guys give you guys an idea of something I will do, right? So first and foremost, I'm going to direct you to this. Look at the total. You have 73,000 calls versus 15,000 puts, right? Unusual Wells tells us that too up here, right? In case you didn't know that. 18.4 billion versus 7.6 billion, right? That's not millions. That's billions with a B. Keep that in mind too. Now, when you go into the option chain, check this out. What I always look for is I always tell you guys when I look at unusual wells, you're looking for something unusual, right? What's usually unusual? High spikes in volume versus open interest. Look at these spikes. 17,000 over 10,000. Uh, 1,000 over 900. 12,000 over 3,000. Like These are massive spikes in volume, which tells you a lot of people have the feeling that this will run up. Now, if you've ever seen one of my videos, you always know I will only play 0.5 old delta or better, right? That's just my rule. That doesn't have to be your rule. I like to make at least $50 for every dollar that a ticker goes up, but I also want to give myself at least a 50% chance of being profitable. Specifically for this play for this week, I am looking at this. The $33 strike, <clears throat> you're going to get this for essentially $141. However, it's giving you a 0.64 delta. Otherwise, meaning you will make $64 for every $1 FUBU runs up, but I'm also giving myself a 64% chance of being profitable. I will be initiating this trade in the morning, and I will be posting this on my IG and Twitter for those of you that are interested in seeing that. Aside from that, please note, I will be taking the gains that I do make from this option if I do become profitable at the end of the week or when I do sell, and I will be taking those profits and turning right back around and dumping this into a long-term position because I feel this ticker right now is on sale and in the 30s. As you see, it has the capabilities to hit the 60s. I think it's way undervalued. I think the correction had a lot to do with it. I think that it's early on in the sports betting industry is also playing a factor in this, but I do see this going way, way high long-term. I like to have some long-term holds in my portfolio. I like to know there are things that I can just dump money into and they're just gonna keep growing long-term, right? 
and I do think this play is one of those specifically. But again, that's just my opinion. Please do your own due diligence. Please do your own research. Please formulate your own opinion. But as always, guys, I think you guys get the point. If you have any questions, as always, leave it down in the comments below. Don't forget, you can always hit me up on Twitter or IG. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.